all right guys if you're a poultry farmer you must understand that every season comes with its own challenges and your ability to understand these challenges and also maneuver your way during these periods during these seasons will determine your success so this is amatan season and in this video i'm going to be telling you its challenges there are a couple of challenges that come with amatan and i'm also going to be showing you how to maneuver your way to ensure that you still get the best results even during this season Alright, so welcome back to the channel if you are already subscribed and if you are not, this is DIY Agric, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So if you are here to subscribe to the channel, you want to hit that subscribe button right away. Yeah, if you have interest in poultry, whether now or in the future, you think of doing something in poultry industry, you want to subscribe to this channel where I share tips that will help you succeed as a poultry farmer. Alright, so I don't take much of your time. Let's quickly dive into what we have to discuss today. Amatan and how to maneuver your way. So in case you have a couple of birds already, I don't know if you have noticed that Amatan period can reduce your broiler weight or even layer performance. Their egg laying performance. Amatan season can reduce it. And there are ways to undo that. But before I go there, I'd like to share some other things that are equally important. So you want to ensure that you watch this video to the very end. Alright, so before we start to talk about the negative impacts or maybe the positive of Amatan and how to maneuver your way around it, I think it would be good to start by describing what Amatan is. Amatan in West Africa is actually a season that ranges, that starts between, uh, the, between November and March. What is typical of Amatan is that there is dry wind and the nature of that wind makes it hazardous to your chickens. Some people may think that the wind, okay, because the breeze is blowing, it's good, but it does a lot of harm to the chickens. There are a lot of airborne diseases that are spread during this period. Diseases like Newcastle can even be transferred to your farm. If you've never had it before, it can be transferred to your farm through the wind that is blowing. And then cases of Newcastle starts to arise. So Amatan brings a lot of diseases to poultry farms and it is important that you know some certain things about it so that you'll be able to maintain the health of your animals of your birds diseases like cold pneumonia and even your birds may start your mature birds may start to have uh blisters on their legs on their foot because of the crack you know especially if you're not supplying them with enough water so i'm going to be listing some things that you can do to ensure that your birds are still very healthy and they are also gaining weight don't forget i said amatan can reduce the weight of your birds drastically but i'm going to be sharing with you how to avoid that and how to even ensure that you are maximizing this amatan for your own benefit all right so the obvious number one point that i would like to say is that you supply your birds with fresh and cool water all day long that is always important whether in the dry season whether in the rainy season whether in the amatan season it is always important that you serve your birds with fresh and cool water all day long remember i said amatan blows uh the amatan wind is a dry wind it blows doors from everywhere and you know the fact that it is dry means that you need to give your birds water one of the reasons why even humans have cracked leaves is because of dryness people who drink more of water find out that they don't really have cracked leaves especially when the amatan is severe so you need to constantly provide water to your chickens that way they can get lubricated all day they won't dehydrate and they'll be fine they will also be able to digest their feed properly and number two still concerning water is that you provide more drinkers during this amatan season it is important that you have more drinkers so that the water is not only available but it is available almost every point where they, your best turn to the left let them see water when they turn to the right or they let them see water because one of the signs of dehydration is weakness when your best starts to dehydrate they are weak they have the urge to take water but the drive is not there the the strength to go and search for water is not there so but when they turn to their left that urge that is there make, means that they want to drink water. So when they turn and see that, okay, it's just beside me here, they may be encouraged to drink water and then keep their health. Okay, so you ensure that you have more drinkers. This is a top secret that you must do if you want to leverage on this amateur season. Another thing is that you need to have grass around your farm. It is important to have grass, grasses like carpet grass around your farm this will ensure that there's no sand 
that the breeze can easily carry and you know, start to mess up the whole area because when the dry wind blows and it's carrying sand into your chicken house, it is disastrous. Some pathogens may be resting on the sand and as the breeze is blowing the sand into your chicken house, it's also pushing the pathogens there and before you know it, some diseases that have not been on your farm before will start to surface. In a situation where you are not able to plant caped grass or other forms of grasses, you can ensure to wet the ground around your farm occasionally. So by sprinkling water around, you ensure that there's no loose soil that the breeze can easily carry. And that way you prevent certain diseases from infecting or inflicting your chickens. So tip number four would be that you avoid burning around your farm. You don't burn refuse or waste or even chicken manure around your farm at this time. Why? Because the atmosphere is already loaded with dusty particles that are stressing your birds out and you don't want to add to this stress, you know. Try as much as possible to not burn anything around your chicken house at this time because you don't want to stress them. You don't want to introduce respiratory diseases like chronic respiratory disease, CRD. You don't want to introduce cough and sneezing and all that. So avoid burning anything around your chicken house at this time. All right, so we'll soon be getting to the parts that affect your chicken weight, especially your broilers, the part that affects uh, their weight, and how to ensure that you, you maintain their body weight even during this amateur. All right, but then before that, tip number five. Tip number five, because these birds, these chickens are passing through stress almost all day. Personally, I don't like the amateur season. It's, it stresses me out. So chickens too are stressed out during this amateur season. So you want to give them anti-stress. You want to give them water containing anti-stress. There are vitamins that contain vitamin C. That is an anti-stress and you can give it to your beds all the time. You can also introduce the organic electrolyte, which is coconut water. My people who have been following me on organic poultry farming, they are aware of this electrolyte use. The coconut water works like magic. When it comes to balancing the body temperature of your birds, we even apply it from day old. So you can use it for mature birds too during this amatan period. And lastly, number six, number six, number six, this affects their weight. You see, during this amateur period, the nights are very cold. The nights are very cold. The dry wind blowing and it's usually coming with cold in the evening. And theoretically, broilers especially are supposed to eat more during the cold season. It applies to layers too, but focusing on broilers now because they, uh, they are the ones that are really concerned with weight gain. So broilers are expected to eat more, but I tell you, if you don't provide the right environment for them to eat well, they won't eat much. They won't increase their feeding. As a matter of fact, the cold can push them to one corner of the house and they are just hibernating and you know, all the things that they have had in the past, they are just wasting it away. Their body weight is just going down and that is very bad for you. So one of the things you want to do for them is to give them light, light. Yeah, light is good, but not just light. To some extent, you may want to give them the bulbs, you may want to use the bulbs that also produce heat because the night is cold. So you want to give them bulbs that produce heat so that the house can be warmed up a little bit. You don't want to increase the house temperature so much that the whole place is too hot for mature birds, you know. Once they heat, they tend to generate heat. But you want to assist them, you want to give them assisted heat because you don't want them to use all the feed that they are eating to generate heat. You want to, by yourself, give them some level of heat so that what they are eating is not just to develop or to generate it but to convert that into meat so you want to use light bulbs that produce or generate it you also want to put the cost in check when you are doing this eat supplementation you know the birds are past brooding stage and you don't really want to incur a lot of cost in terms of providing it for your mature birds so whichever way is good for you to provide just supplemental eat for them in the night in the night alone and also you may want to drop the cutting of the house a little bit maybe not completely because they are mature birds and of course they will generate it after eating so you want to drop it a little so that the breeze that is blowing will not just be penetrating into the house directly especially for the sake of diseases when the breeze is blowing it doesn't just come and load all the diseases on your farm so 
don't forget to use your light because the light on will ensure that they want to eat and you also encourage them to eat by providing some level of heat you can use the lamps or the light bulbs that generate heat so the house is a little bit heated up and you want to ensure that there is food in their feed that there is feed in their feed and don't just give them light don't just give them eat without feed you have to give them feed and don't forget water water is compulsory and you have to ensure that you put your electrolytes during the day now you put your electrolyte during the day you can also put it in the night but it's very important during the day because the weather is hotter in the afternoon and it's also dry it's so dry you know so all this will help you to ensure that you don't lose those weights weights that they have been gaining before the hammer time or maybe you even got the best during the hammer time and it looks like you sometimes you may want to be blaming the feed manufacturer so it's not it's just a season so these things i believe would help you and as a way of gifting you something during this festive period you can enjoy my organic poultry course for just a token of 5,000 Naira. It used to be 7,500 Naira, but you can enjoy it for just 5,000 Naira. It is a loaded course. Trust me, it's a loaded course. And I've had some people who have started taking advantage of it, but this is the first time I'm going to be saying it publicly, and I don't want any of you to miss out. So if you are yet to take the course, you too should try to join the community. Apart from joining the course platform, you also have a discussion platform where you can hear your questions and they'll get answered either by me or those who have taken the course before you. All right, that's it. But just before I go, in case you have been battling with a kind of disease on your farm and you are just waiting for a fresh start, you know, I tell you, I bring you a wonderful disinfectant. I'm going to be telling you about this. I'm going to be revealing the name and all that in the next video so if you're here to subscribe to the channel you want to hit that subscribe button i tell you these guys are so proud of what they are doing that they were willing to list or itemize all of the poultry diseases that this um disinfectant can take care of as a matter of fact it's so so powerful it's so powerful when i tell you all the gist about it you understand why I, why i'm saying so all right so that's it for now and I remain your number one animal scientist and your poetry success partner. So until the next time, peace.